Welcome, and thank you for joining us. You're listening to the Beyond 50 radio program. I'm Daniel Davis. Today we're going to be celebrating 100 years. That's right, someone has reached the century mark. When we start talking about what exactly this is that this particular company has achieved, it might be interesting to note that as we take a look at sustainability and green living, all of these wonderful little cliches and quotes and things that we use to talk about the natural way to live, that this has actually been around for quite some time. Joining us here on the Beyond 50 radio program today is the daughter of Dr. Paul C. Bragg. And perhaps many listeners out there will wonder, well, who's this? Well, he's actually a life extension specialist, and he's also the founder of the health of the American Health Movement that went back 100 years and started the company Bragg Live Foods. We're going to be talking about how this man campaigned for a diet and a lifestyle that focused on natural live foods as Americans and the American captains of industry decided fast food was the way that America should go. Well, we all know where that took us. I'd like to welcome to the Beyond 50 radio program today our guest, Ms. Patricia Bragg. Patricia, thank you for joining us here on the program. Oh, thank you, thank you, and thank you for praising my wonderful father, Paul Bragg. Yes, he originated health food stores and started the health movement in America in 1912. I know, it's just, it's it's funny to think that today, even though when you go back 100 plus years before fast food, you know, we had the right idea then, it was in the invention of fast food and the fast food industry. Some might attribute that to the Ford industry and being able to create the assembly line for the car, and they figured, why not do the same thing for food? <laughs> and making Americans kind of get into a mad dash in a rush, and we've discovered that fast food essentially can be a fast way to the grave. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right. You know, Dad uh, started not only health food stores; he started health restaurants, health spas. He in, he started juicing in America. He, if they thought pineapple juice and tomato juice was too acid, it would kill you if you drank it. Mm-hmm. And Dad taught Mr. Dole over here in Hawaii, where I am now, into canning the pineapple juice that was going down the drain when they sliced the pineapple to put it in the can. Uh Oh, Mr. Dole said it's too acid, Paul. You can't drink that. Dad said, watch me. Get me a glass. And he sipped it. Oh, it it caught it as it was going down the drain. Oh, he said, nectar to the god. It's delicious. And he said to Mr. Dole, will you can it for me? He said, Paul, will you pay me cash? And Dad said, pay you cash. And Dad, all over America, the Bragg Health Crusade introduced pineapple juice. Oh. Loved it for two years. Oh, my golly. And so Mr. Dole wrote Dad a Dear John letter, Dear Paul, thank you for introducing pineapple juice. We're now going to do it for Dole. Mm-hmm. No longer for you. Now, what had your dad move into this direction? I mean, it's, I'm sure there was more than just common sense. Well, my dear, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. Mm-hmm. Just like the car, the airplane. Oh, and healthy living. My father was in a very famous military school. He saved a very wealthy man from drowning back in Virginia at the ocean. And that man gave my father a three three years at the famous military academy, boarding academy. And there the boys came down with tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. And my father was one of them. In the old days, they called it the consumption disease because literally it ate you up. And my father, mother, moved my dad first into one sanitarium. He didn't get better. Then she moved him into the second sanitarium, and he got worse. And then she heard of another sanitarium. See, in the old days, tuberculosis was spreading. Right. And then the third sanitarium, there was a Swiss, exchange nurse, Maria. And one day my father realized, 
with bed rest, no fresh air, no exercise, no deep breathing. He was skin and bones, and he was dying. And he started sobbing for the first time since he'd come down with tuberculosis. And this little Swiss nurse was walking down the hallway and heard my father sobbing. And she came in. She said, Paul, why are you crying? He said, I don't want to die. Look at me. I'm so weak I can hardly walk. She said, well, in Switzerland, where I come from, you get well. And he said, how? He said, why, fresh air, put you out on the sun porch, sunshine, beautiful fruits and salads, massage. Father Knight had the water treatment a fire hose up and down the front of you, up and down the back, get the circulation going. Oh, she said, he said, why don't they do it here? She said, I don't know, I don't know. He said, would you write my mother, please? Tell her to come, please. And guess what? Mother Brad was there in a week. In the old days, it was buggy. Came in the buggy, and guess what? Four days later, Nurse Maria, Mother Bragg, and my father, Paul Bragg, were on the ship from New York to Europe. And he got his health back. And on the ship, he made a pact with God. He said, dear Lord, if I get my health back this natural way, I'll spend the rest of my life being a health crusader. And little Paul Bragg, he kept his vow with the Lord. Mm -hmm. He started health food stores, named them. Started health restaurants, juicing, exercise, deep breathing. And during the Big Depression, 1929, he started penny restaurants in New York City, Washington, and some of the other big cities. So people could eat all they wanted, cafeteria style, from 6 in the morning till 10 at night for a penny. <laughs> he, he was a one-man army mm-hmm. of spreading health. He went all over the world spreading health. I remember we had an office in London, one in Sydney, one in New Zealand, New York, Los Angeles. We started Health and Happiness from Hollywood in the 50s. We had a TV show five days a week. Mm-hmm. Dad started Jack LaLanne, a puny, sickly little boy. Been out of school a year and a half or so we had to have a back brace to sit up. He had pimples, boils, one lecture with my father in Oakland, California, when he was 15. Jack said, Paul Bragg and the Bragg Health Crusade that night saved my life. Wow. And he went on to live to be 97, 97 years young. Not to mention that he also has the world record for pulling the most boats in a swim. (laughs) He did. He did from Alcohol. Alcatraz to San Francisco. Yes. Yeah. He was amazing. Mm-hmm. He was amazing. And his young son and his son John Lalane is mm-hmm. amazing too. Mm-hmm. He has a wonderful son, John Lalane. All right, I want you to know your health is your wealth. We have I have Clint Eastwood for fifty five years. He's ageless. His brain is sharp. He makes movies faster, better, more reasonable than any Hollywood producer that has ever made a picture. Mm-hmm. He does its simplicity. You are what you eat, drink, breathe, think, say, and do. What you eat and drink today, walks and talk tomorrow. It's simple as that. Open your mouth. Right. Your tank. What you put in there with your knife and fork, it'll either be killing you or keeping you healthy. Mm-hmm. Remember, before you eat, put it to the test. Ask yourself, is this going to bring me health? For sickness. Now I don't don't use white sugar, white bread. I go organic. Don't panic. I don't want chemicals in my body. I've never had an aspirin. Never had a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. You know, you can pay almost anybody with a big name if you pay them enough to say something's good. Look what they used to say about cigarettes. Killed oh my goodness! Cigarettes. Right. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. It's cool. Mm-hmm. It won't hurt you at all. You know, I was with 
Lana Turner. She followed our teachings. The only thing is, Patricia, I can't give up smoking. I said, Lana, you better. And guess what killed Lana? Beautiful Lana Turner, cigarette smoking. Right. Gil Brenner. Oh, my golly. What a wonderful man. Oh, and Walt Disney, our friend. I went to the opening of Disneyland. Mm-hmm. And he in, in Walt's helicopter. Guess what? Killed him. Cigarettes. Oh, my dear, every one of you, you are what you eat and what you drink and what you breathe. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to be around secondhand smoke. And you have to drive your car through the smog to work. Buy an air purifier for your car. Purify the air. Have an air purifier in your office, if possible. You are a breathing machine. Oxygen, the invisible staff of life. I don't want you to be around cigarette smoke. Anybody comes to your house wants to smoke, tell them to step outside. I don't use any sprays, hairspray. These, oh, my golly, toxic things. You want to be careful what you breathe, what you eat, what you drink. Katie Perry, I've been her nutritionist since she was eight years old. Her mother and father were my ministers in Santa Barbara, California. Mm-hmm. I, I called her God Songbird. She used to get up and sing at church, and I said to her mother, Mary, I said, I want to pay for her to have singing lessons. So I did that from 8 on. And at 12, I bought her a guitar. At 13, I got her singing at the L.A. Coliseum on the 4th of July in the middle of the football field. At halftime, I paid them $500 if they had let her sing God Bless America and the National Anthem. She brought the stadium down. They loved her. He, 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 he let me let her sing. I paid him $500. <laughs> and, and without even hearing her voice, he said, she sing? I said, she's good and loud. And, and so, by golly, she got the taste of success and sharing, and now she sings all over the world. Right now she's in Dubai with her mother Mary. She's singing in a big parachute convention in Dubai. And then I have people all walk to life. Tom Hanks, Tom Selleck, the Beach Boys for over 45 years. Oh, yes, we had Jane Russell to, in her 90s. She was, she was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Good posture. Oh, yes, and she ate healthy, gardened. We have we have Bob Cummings. She he was eighteen when he was a toast to Broadway. A pretty girl was like a melody, sang and danced. He had the Bob Cummings show, we had Donna Reed. People all walks of life. Mm-hmm. Donald Trump. We have people business people. We had Cannon Cal family, the Bates Dead Fred family. Dad was nutritionist to Henry Ford. We had Elizabeth we had Elizabeth Arden. We used to go stay at her, her beautiful bluegrass farm in Kentucky. Oh, yes. Your health is your wealth. Oh, when you turn 50, that's the best time of life. You know what you want. You've had your ups and downs. And all of a sudden, you know. If it's to be, it's up to me. And every day is a present. That's why they call it the present. You see, your life, you are a miracle. You are, each one of you listening, you are a miracle. You walk, you talk, you see, you have your own plumbing. Wow! You have your own mode, you have your own feet for walking. You have your own transportation. Your feet carry you through life. We kept Dr. Scholl going to almost 100. I I would tip Conrad Hill and the hotel man at 80 out of the hospital. They said he had five years, five days to live. Chris Hilton, who was married to Nikki, Nikki Hilton was the first husband of Lisa Taylor. That was one of her downfalls. Poor Nikki. Left too soon because of drinking and other problems. 
And so Trish Hilton didn't want to lose her father-in-law, Conrad Hilton. She called us. We just got back from a health crusade. We, Dad and I crusaded eight to ten months out of the year in every major city of the world. And every city that Dad lectured, he'd say, who wants to open the first health food store like we were in Pittsburgh? Who wants to open the first health food store in Pittsburgh to be the first in Pennsylvania? You have to have a little retail operation. We'll put the drag health foods in, and you'll be in business tomorrow. Five people put their hands in that night in Pittsburgh. One of them was the Laksum Deli, little Armenian deli. So Dad and the carpenter the next day went to see the five locations, picked the little deli, put some more shelves up, put the Bragg seven-grain cereal, the Bragg herb teas, and the other health products in on the shelves. And that night they said, ladies and gentlemen, we have the first health food store in all Pennsylvania right here in Pittsburgh, the Laksum Deli. They, if you go there, we put it, Dad put it up on the blackboard, and that was the beginning of GNC, General Nutrition Center, mm-hmm. out there in every shopping center in America. Dad started Nature Food Centers in Business. He was the inspiration to Eugene Schiff, Schiff Vitamins. He was a pharmacist. Dad lectured in New York City, whatever it is, don't be a dispenser of death. He said, you want to give life. That's the reason I named our products Bragg Live Food Products. Mm-hmm. Live foods make live people, not drugs, not refined products, white sugar, white flour. Why do you want to have white flour that the life has been bleached out of it? No, be complex for your nerves, for your whole body. You want natural foods. That's what made America strong. The early pioneers, they all had their little vegetable gardens. My father called them victory gardens. Dad started Rodale in organic gardening. He came to my father's lecture in Pennsylvania. He said, Paul Bragg, I want to be like you. Dad said, well, what do you do now? He said, I'm so bored. Dad said, you're a young man. What are you bored about? He said, I'm making so much money. Dad said, well, what do you do? He said, I'm an inventor. I have inventions every day. Royalty checks come in the mail. You know, the dimmer switch where the lights go up and down, that's my invention. He mm. said, well, what are your hobbies? He said, I like gardening. Have you heard about organic gardening? He said, I think so. Dad said, young man, when I get back to my home in California, I want you to come out and be my guest, and I will teach you organic gardening, and you will hold the banner for organic gardening. Mm -hmm. And Rodell came out, and that was the beginning, Prevention Magazine and Organic Gardening Magazine. And just like Jack Lane started fitness, Dad was the early triathlete. I wrote the 600-page triathlon training manual in the 80s, and guess what? I dedicated to Dad because he was the early triathlete. All around the world, we inspired people to run, swim, bike. Wow, I have 640 muscles. You are what you eat, what you drink, what you breathe, what you think. You have a computer. Woo, garbage in, garbage out. And what you say, words is living. You put it before the test, before you speak. Is it good? Is it kind? Is it necessary? Oh, my golly, you can ruin a marriage with a few wrong words. You can lose your job if you have a fight with your boss, like my friend's husband just got fired. Because mm-hmm. he fought in front of the whole office with his boss. Even though he said he was sorry, it was too late. Words, words can be dangerous. And the last is what you do. I have 640 muscles. Woo! I haven't stopped exercising since I've been talking to you. What do you think of that? Right now, I have 70 trillion cells. And right now, they're getting 
circulation. I'm in my bathing suit here, looking out at the ocean in Hawaii. The waves are rolling in at Diamond Head, and I'm doing my stationary jogging. With every little bounce, my 70 trillion cells are clapping hands. Oh, they love circulation. Circulation is one of the keys to good health. Your health is your wealth. And I'm going to tell you again, the brag healthy lifestyle is this. You are what you eat, what you drink, what, what you eat, drink, breathe, think. Remember your computer, what you say, words you're living, and next, what you do. And now I want you to go to braghawaiiexercise.com, and you will see where I am six mornings a week usually here at Waikiki Beach, braghawaiiexercise.com. We have our class. It's very famous here in Waikiki all three, six days a week. Even if it's a light rain, we still go on. Five things are free in Waikiki. The sun, the sand, the water, the air, and the brag exercise class. Mm -hmm. By the way, when you come to Hawaii, you'll be blessed. Oh. It's wonderful. You'll love the class. Please look at it. Brag, Hawaii exercise. .com. And they can go to my website, brag, dot com and they go or they go to youtube dot com and hear me lecture all over the world. I've made over thirty world crusades. I'm on the go all the time. Well it's nice to know that you have the energy and the wherewithal to be able to do that as you said earlier in the program, Patricia, you know, you are what you eat and if your food is alive and exciting, then you're going oh. to probably be alive and exciting. <laughs> oh, it is my dear, do you know what I do? I practice since I've been four years old. I've had my feet and hands in the soil, organic soil, mm -hmm. and they're filled with worms. And Dr. Scholl, the foot doctor, kept going almost 100. He said, Patricia, you have the healthiest feet I've ever seen. I have no corns, no aches, no pains in my feet, and I'm barefooted most of the time. What do you think of that? I'm barefooted probably. 60% of the time. Mm -hmm. 60% of the time. And see, we have people all walks of life. I have a prison ministry. I go to prison. I have not sat down once since I started this conversation with you. I'm mm -hmm. exercising here in my bathing suit. And I today, I have, I go, go to all the armed forces. I lecture to them. I go to the schools here. Wherever I am, I give my time free, and I love doing it. And the brag books are all over the world, many languages. Mm -hmm. Our Miracle of Fasting book came to life with the Beach Boys. And Dick Gregory was weighed almost 400 pounds in the early days, and he got down to 180. He was in an eight Boston Marathon, Dick Gregory, the comedian from Hollywood and the mm -hmm. activist. He became the number one speaker on college campuses. Hey, you wise asses, you think you know it all. He said, you know, I used to suck on two to three packs of cigarettes a day. Oh, I was killing my lungs until I realized they just wanted my money. They didn't care about my lungs. Young people, stop smoking. That's the way he would talk at college campuses. And, you know, he saved the lives of millions of young people. Mm-hmm. And then we have George Clooney. He's, uh, he now is on the Vinegar Regime. Our Vinegar book, we just sold 9 million copies. You can go look that up, brag.com, and go to our books and see that. Everything we have is reasonable. Dad didn't want anything expensive. He wanted everything within the means. I go to see the price of books these days. They think, golly, who can afford them? And plus, Plus, guess what? You can get our books on e-books, too. E right. No. I think, and now, and I believe that everybody, if you have two hands, you can garden. We took Conrad Hilton dying in the hospital, 80, had him 
They said he'd be dead in five days. The doctors told the family. We had him out of the hospital in four days. How did we do it? Well, I tell you what we did. We took the sugar water out. Uh, we gave him uh, total care on his IV, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and trace minerals. We gave him oxygen to the nose. He was so weak he could hardly breathe. Oxygen is the visible staff of life. That's why I have the Metropolitan Opera Singers, Ballet, Track Stars. I had Dave Scott won five Ironman triathlons. He called my triathlon training manual Bible of Health and Fitness. And mm -hmm. this is what I teach to have super energy. Conrad Hill was out of the hospital in four days. That was, he was 80 dying. And at 88, guess what he did? He remarried. Oh, so boy. He I guess that's what you do when you regain your health, right, Patricia? Yeah. You remarry. <laughs> and he, and, and he, he said one of the worst things he ever did is when he married Zaza Gabor. Uh, I think she was 19, he said. Oh, so boy. He said, he said, my brain slipped, and he said. And that's what happens when you eat poorly. <laughs> yeah, so he got out of that. He makes poor anyway, decisions. <laughs> yeah, but your health is your wealth, all of you out there. I want each one of you to be your own health captain. Exactly. Now, Patricia, go ahead. First of all, congratulations on reaching a 100-year mark. You know, obviously, a company does the right things to be able to make it that long, you know, especially in a day and an age uh, like we're experiencing uh, this day and age. People being foreclosed on their homes, companies going out of business, uh, people looking for work, you know. But here's one that's endured, you know, the Great Depression and, you know, a lot of Great Recessions and then uh, allegedly another Great Depression, all by doing the right thing, which is turning lives around. And so congratulations on 100 years. And if you could give out a website, people can find out more. Oh, yes, it's drag dot. B R A G G dot com, and you can go to YouTube dot com, Patricia Bragg, and hear me lecture. And then also see our exercise class here at Waikiki Beach, Bragg Hawaii Exercise dot com. Very good, Patricia. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Beyond Fifty Radio program. Oh uh, well, blessings to everyone listening. Realize I want them to be their own health captain, to be health and fit for the new year. Blessings to all of you. Very good. Thank you again. We want to thank you, the listeners out there, for tuning in. In case you didn't get that information down, just visit us at beyond50radio.com. We'll have a hot link there for you. Also, this show is archived, so you can bring that on and share it with friends as well at your earliest convenience. We want to thank you again for tuning in. This is the Beyond 50 Radio program. I'm Daniel Davis, and remember, live your day past halfway.